guys, what are we gonna do today? Today I'm gonna show you how I just took different shapes and I stamped in between them and made different things with them. This one right here, I just used circles and circles and circles and a couple different stamps and we just filled it in to make this cute little lamp shape. This one right here was one of the uh, linen bags that we had done on another tutorial and I just drew my shapes in and painted them and made a mask and stamped these in. So let's see what you guys can come up with and let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna need to do is to get our supplies. Now, the lamp that I'm using here, um, this is from Ikea and it's like $6.99. So this is what I decided to use, but you could use whatever you want and change your dimensions for that. So I am using a heavy, heavy craft paper or you can use like a um, like postal shipping paper or even a really heavy paper bag that you have as long as it's big enough. I cut this one 25 by nine inches. It's 24 around and I'm adding an extra inch to put it together for the seams. And it's actually six inches tall, but I did it nine and I'm giving myself a little extra leeway on both sides. And then what I did was when I cut this out 25 by nine, I drew a one inch border at the top and at the bottom and folded that. And that's gonna be underneath to make it look finished. So now we're gonna just start drawing our circles and I'll show you how we did that. So what I did is I just found a circle template that you could make your own and I'm using anywhere from um, three inch circles to like one and three fourths inch circles and then just putting them all over the paper. Uh, you know, you could just stencil them on. I found that it was just as easy to draw the circles and then just paint them in. So just start using uh, different size circles and just drawing them wherever you would like on this sheet. And I really don't have any real rhyme or reason how I do it. I just kind of fill it up. more or less or whatever you would like. And now I'm gonna paint them in. So I picked four different colored paints, but use whatever um, will go with your decor or whatever you're trying to do. And just kind of pick different ones and just paint them in. And they don't have to be perfect. I really wanted to go with circles though. So I usually start with one color and then do a bunch in one color and then get to the next color and add that one in. So when you get a bunch of one color, then start your next color and your next color and get all of your circles filled in with different colors, just all coordinating everywhere. And then we'll get to stamping. So what I'm gonna stamp the circles with is um, three of these different roses from my Painterly Roses IOD stamps. And I'm just using one piece, a smaller, a medium, and a larger. And I'm just gonna use black ink. And this one definitely will go onto my larger circles. does go pretty fast. And now we're gonna do our stems. So for the stem, I'm using um, the stamp from Lady of Shallots, one of the new IOD floral stamps. Um, I almost forgot the name of the stamp. I was gonna call it the New Big Flowers, but I actually looked it up so we got it right. So with this one, some areas you won't need to mask off, but some of them you might a little bit. And I am just gonna put the 
little stem and it doesn't have to go perfectly straight. The Painterly Roses does have a stem and it's a little more curly, but I really wanted a straight stem for this. mask these off a little bit. See what I did? So I'm going through there. So what I did is I just cut out the size, circles of the size, um, circles I was using so I could just cover these up when I was doing the stems at the top. So now I have all of these stems on here. Now I'm gonna add a few little extras here and there, and I'll show you how I did that. When I was painting, I did a sheet and just put lots of, just drew lots of circles and just painted them all different colors and cut them out and did them in case I wanted to add a couple in here. So let's just add a few more in here, and you could use just a, Aileen's Tacky Glue or a glue stick. I found a glue stick worked just as well. Okay, just glue just a few more on. I know it's getting pretty crazy on here, but I like it. I think that's good enough. And if you want to add more later when you put it together, you can. Let me move these little guys out of the way. So this is a fun way you can mix and match your stamps to use different parts of one and um, other parts of others to come up with a fun project. So let's get the slant put together. So I'm just gonna put a little wax over this. And you don't need to, you could seal it with anything you wanted to or not seal it at all. This is just a clear wax. I'm gonna turn this over in my fun paper wire. And if you wanna know where to get it, I have it in my favorite things from another video we did. Or you can use any type of wire, or you might not have to use a wire. I just like the way it looks and it's lightweight enough and it kind of makes it hold its form a little better. So I'm just gonna use a little Aveen's Tacky Glue. finished edges. So I'm going to go get my lamp, wrap this around, and then we'll put the edges together. So since this is the lamp I'm using and I already know the size, I'm just going to kind of put it on here. And the top is smaller diameter than the bottom, but I want it to be a circle. So it's going to be a little looser at the top, but it'll be nice and tight at the bottom. So I'm just putting it here and I'm just going to mark with a pencil where I'm gluing it. So now I'll take it off. I'm gonna cut these wires and just glue this edge and use some clips to hold it. So I'm just gonna glue this edge. And if you wanted your um, lamp 
like a, um, a cylinder, more of a triangle shape. You can do that, you just have to make your pattern beforehand. So I'm just gonna lay this down for a second here. Line up the lines. And if for some reason your edge goes over a flower, you could always trim that a little bit too. And then what I'm gonna do is put clips on the end until it dries. And then when it dries, we're gonna put it on our lamp. So when your seam is dry, just put it over your lamp. And this one's just literally setting on top of here. So you can see how it's lit up. And then we started working on a really, really big one. This might be too big and I need to add more flowers to it and some other sizes. But just come up with your own size and just use the ideas and come up with your fun lampshade. Well, I really like the concept of using just circles or shapes and then stamping in them. So I thought I would use one of my bags and we had done a tutorial on this on YouTube. So you'll have to look for the, the lined linen bag. And um, I just cut out a template of a fish, just drew one out and cut it out. And the same is with the circles. I just traced it, painted them different colors. And now I'm going to stamp them. And I'm gonna use our new IOD Bohemia stamps, and they just have such a fun texture to them. So I am just gonna use this and put this in the middle of my painted fish. I did put some cardboard inside so it made it nice and hard. Oh, isn't that so cute? Isn't that so cute? Let's try a different stamp from the same set and see what that looks like. I might have muddled that a little. So it's just a fun idea for something else you could do, whether you do it on on a frame or on paper or on a bag. And sorry, I muddled that one up a little bit, but it's just another fun idea with any shape that you have. Fill it in with stamps and it gives you just a fun look. So guys, so whatever you come up with, you know, just, just use what you love. Use the colors that you love. Find ways to mix and match your stamp sets. Um, so just taking simple shapes, you know, making templates, and masking, you can come up with a different look for every project that you do, mixing and matching all your things that you have. Um, and I don't know if you guys noticed, I'm actually wearing something that doesn't have paint on it today. And when we had our Valentine's gathering this last weekend, that was wonderful. We have a gal that came in, her name is Carrie, and she actually uh, prints these herself. I'm gonna try to get uh, the link up for where I got this from because I just absolutely loved it. But whatever you do, I'd love to see pictures and have fun, guys.